In the ballooning community, it is the most prestigious competition in the world. And for the first time in 15 years, it's being hosted at Balloon Fiesta. News 13's Gabe Chavez has the history of the Gordon Bennett gas balloon race and two local pilots who are helping keep that tradition alive. It's like looking out and having the whole world laid out before you and you're drifting along. For 33 years, Barbara Frick and Peter Cuneo have taken flight, each flight a technical feat full of excitement. It's a combination of freedom with a lack of control as compared to flying an airplane. With all those years in the sky, it's no wonder they have excelled in several high altitude flight competitions like the America's Challenge and the championship race, the coup aeronautic Gordon Bennett. Since its inception in 1906 in Paris, the Gordon Bennett has become the most prestigious gas balloon competition in the world, surviving years-long gaps, including during both world wars and a missed year because of COVID. Now, for the first time since 2008, the competition is back in Albuquerque, with 18 teams competing for the title of world champion. With no true finish line, the goal is to be the last balloon flying, the farthest distance away. So I would say, whereas there's concentration required both flying a hot air balloon and a gas balloon, the gas balloon flights require a much longer endurance uh, concentration, uh, more stamina, and more unknowns. The competition will take days to complete, with thousands of miles covered. It can get cold overnight, it can get down into the teens, um, you're on oxygen if you're above about 12,000 feet MSL. Um, you're communicating with air traffic control. You've got your transponder going so they can see where you are. A ground crew will follow and guide pilots with forecasts for winds and where they are headed. During those days, 12,000 feet in the air, pilots like Frick and Cuneo will rely on supplies they brought with them, radios, maps, and other aeronautical instruments. Of course, food and water, a cot that folds out to six feet long, and yes, a bucket to use the bathroom. I like flying long distance and long time, so I really like it. And it's getting harder as we're getting older, but we're doing it one more time. This is their ninth Gordon Bennett competition, and Frick and Cuneo say next year isn't out of the picture yet, but are hoping to see younger pilots continue the tradition and soar just as high as they do. It's great, and for me, a little bit the unknown of exactly where you're gonna land is always part of the fun. Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. You can track the Gordon Bennett competition on the Balloon Fiesta main website. We will have a link to that on our website, krqe.com.